Being surrounded by various cultures, how have you felt connected or disconnected from someone outside your ethnic group? Well, um, first, uh, with the disconnection is that uh, the various cultures will, um, the, we, we can see the differences, like even in the looks, the, the way we look, the way we dress, and um, can you say that again, the question? <laughs> Being surrounded by various cultures, how have you felt connected? Or disconnected from someone outside your ethnic group. Um, I feel disconnected because I know they are different. It's like uh, the Americans look different, the African American look different, and the other people too. So it's like there's a, a disconnection because I know they are different and they have different cultures. But I feel connected because it's like I know that all the people are made by God. All of us are made by one God. Um, how do you feel about different religions? Like how you felt about them when you first came to America and how do you feel about it now? Do you feel tolerant, less tolerant, or moderate? Uh, I'm always tolerant with uh, the other religions. And um, here um, in the Philippines we only have Catholic because I grew up in a Catholic uh, family, but here in America, I can see other religions and um, I, I can see some people with uh, bandanas and long clothes and also um, I, I can see some like the African-American, they really enjoy their spiritual life. I can see them in church like uh, they jump and sing, they're really happy, they express themselves so well with their spirituality. In the Philippines, it's like, um, it's solemn. It's like, a, it's like more of a tradition and uh, like um, what the, the, the traditions that are handed down from the parents, all the parents, while here it's like, um, you, you can express yourself. Do you feel comfortable expressing your religion and your culture here in America? Um, yes, I, I, I feel I'm comfortable. As a Filipino, it's like um, uh, I express myself as a Filipino. I eat, I eat Filipino food. Um, I enjoy Filipino company. Um, and... Uh, well, um, I I grew up in the Philippines, and it's always with me, and and I, I'm comfortable. And uh, sometimes, uh, when I'm not comfortable, um, uh, it's just a respect for other people. Like when we cook food that smells, you know, it's not like uh, uh, I feel uncomfortable because as a respect to. I don't, I don't want other people to be uncomfortable with what I'm cooking, so I have to adjust. Has your self-identification changed over the years? Um, not really. I always, uh, I always uh, even though I'm in America, uh, I, may, I still feel like a Filipino. And, um, well, um... Uh, I look like a Filipino. I dress up like a Filipino and eat Filipino food, talk, talk Tagalog, so it, it didn't change me a lot. Do you think American culture has influenced you a lot or like not really? Um, uh, not really. Maybe uh, it influences me in some way, but not that much. Like. Uh, here in America, it's like, uh, uh, how do you call that, disciplining children is different. It's like uh, putting them in one corner for some time out. In the Philippines, we don't have that. And uh, being more tolerant and understanding with teenagers and how to deal with them. And also, um, I'm, I'm getting lost. What's the question? <laughs> Uh, has the American culture influenced you? 
Yes, in, in some ways, some way. yeah, mm. like, they, like um, well, taking care of children, like uh, dealing with teenagers, and also, uh, by the way we work, it's like uh, um, here, more job opportunities, more time to work, and, um, well, I, I yes, in, in the Philippines it's different, and, and uh, it has influenced me because I have changed in the way how I look at things, and also I have changed with the way how I deal with, uh, with other people.